Hello everybody, if you just came from vlog three, then here I am in the same sweatshirt, just back in a different place. The construction isn't as loud as it was though. But welcome, it is December 4th, Friday, December 4th, and it's a kind of weird day for me. So I guess I should just talk about it since I feel like I'm like, oh, go watch my Instagram stories. But essentially today is my last class at SoulCycle for a while, like not ever. It's this, it's kind of complicated, but essentially, with the world being the way it is, COVID, blah, blah, blah. Um, our Bethesda studio closed, which is in our Maryland location, which is my home studio and also like a huge chunk of my schedule. So essentially I just lost seven classes a week, which if you can do the math is obviously a huge part of my paycheck. And I only have three classes in DC and they're not like the most prime time slots you would say. So with my back being hurt and not really riding and just the weather being the way it is, the world being the way it is, financially and health wise, I just had to make a really difficult decision. And we plan on reopening in March for Bethesda. And I mean, based on the way the world is going right now, I have a feeling that probably everything might close in DC, but there were restrictions put on and it just felt like all signs were pointing that I need to just do what's right for me right now which is unfortunately take a step back heal my back get back in it financially make more money being furloughed and then come back so if you know me you know that that was not an easy decision for me to make but it was one that had to be made and i had to really put myself first um so yeah <laughs> but i will say it's very weird it's a very weird feeling um but it's nice knowing it's like temporary and I don't know so I just I just feel really off today um so we'll see how this vlog goes um I think after class I'll be able to like go do some things and run some errands that I plan on doing but right now I'm just I don't know I'm like in a weird state I'm like really trying to process this day I, I don't know um I love what I do and I love the people that I work with and the people that ride with me so um it's interesting because when all this happened in March, like that's what I missed the most was just like showing up to work and loving what I do and just like helping people and being like such a good part of their day. Um, so yeah, the fact that SoulCycle will be open technically and I won't be there is kind of odd, but I have to do what's right for me and back injuries are not something that you mess with and it's just not, it's just not worth it. Um, and the fact that they were fine with it and all that stuff, I was like, you know what, I just need to do it, so, and it just made sense, you know, the times we live in, like, no one can fault you for just doing what, you know, you need to do, sorry, I'm, like, rambling on, anyway, but I will say, at the beginning of this year, when everything closed, it was like, oh my god, are we gonna open, when are we gonna open it, what's happening, now, like, knowing that we have, like, a plan in place, I mean, obviously, depending on the way what the world's going, but vaccines look good right now, that it'll be like two to three months. So looking on the bright side of things during that time, um, I will be really focusing on the podcast. I'll be focusing more on social media, really just trying to grind it out and just finding like my happy place again with social media. Um, as I was talking about in my last video, I just feel like mentally, I, I personally drain myself with certain things for no reason. Also, like, do you guys like my fingernails? I painted these two just to take a picture of my matcha yesterday. <laughs> anyway, okay. So there's my spiel, it's Friday, welcome, and um, yeah, I'll take you along with me today. I swear you guys are gonna think that I never eat the food that I buy, but this week has just been weird, but I am committed to making sure that, oops, I make some tacos tomorrow, and then worst case, I just freeze the fish or meat that we have. But Will was like, I'm going to Northside Social, it's like this like little hipster place. Um, they have really good sandwiches. They're overpriced, but they're good. So I got the roasted turkey sandwich. I might throw some avocado in here because they charge you a dollar seventy-five for avocado. But I love when places make like fresh salads for you, and they're like actually good. Will is on the phone right now, but he will be sitting there, which is the first time someone will sit on our bench. But yeah, it's lunchtime. I don't know. I'm in such a weird face mentally but I'm excited mm, I love a good shaved carrot fun fact actually really sad fact I'm just kidding I 
If you don't watch TikTok, you have no idea what I'm talking about. TikTok runs my brain. Like, little sayings. It's crazy. Um, fun fact, though, I don't eat cooked carrots. Can't stand them. What did I just get up for? Time is winding down. I have to leave in like an hour for class. Um, I will be doing some gift guides. I don't know if I said that on here or my Instagram, whatever. I definitely want to include this blanket. I've had it for like two years. It's from UGG. I know that's something bougie to have a blanket from UGG, but I got it for Christmas and it truly was one of the best gifts ever. Except for the fact that whenever I like sit wearing it with my leggings, that I like, ugh, it just gets everywhere. So now I have to like pick this off. I don't even know if a lint roller will get it, but. Anyways, putting the final touches on the playlist. It's literally a bunch of stuff that I love, but based on that, I have to like add in a song. I don't know, I'm having a hard time. All right, this is my outfit for my last class. Um, such an OG bra, love it, soul cycle. I'm actually wearing my new in movements that I had on yesterday just because. I was just wearing them around. Soul Cycle socks. We're Soul Cycled out for sure. I'm gonna definitely throw on my long sleeve, long sleeve, <laughs> my long sleeve Lululemon, uh, like whatever, cold gear shirt, a sweatshirt. It's pretty cold outside, but yeah, this is the fit. <sighs> this feels really weird, but what can you do? All right, here we go. Last class. It feels so weird. <laughs> a little calm before the storm. We got a full room today, which here means 25 people because COVID. But I'm excited. I'm like, I'm like emo right now. I literally showed up and the staff was like, we're sad. I'm like, thank you, I'm sad. <laughs> and of course the go home I'm playing is literally like, makes me emotional. I literally changed the stress song so I wasn't like crying. But Class time. Vlogmas. Oh my god. Yeah. Thro honor. What's up? Throwback to you guys were both in my vlog at Clarendon one day. Oh yeah. Um, it's so dark. Mimi, Kiki, <laughs> thanks for riding. Mm. That was really fun, and I'm out of. <laughs> okay. Vlogmas. Oh hi. <laughs> oh hi. Here's my sad little sign. Boo boo. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's like, oh wow. Okay. And me. Really hard on that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean like. No. <laughs> No, I'm so sorry. You're nice sign, sad, sad. emotionally. <laughs> oh my god. Okay guys, class is over. It's insanely dark out. I got a donut. The staff was like, I'm so sorry you're listening to me too. Staff was like, Kelly, take a donut. Love them. Unimarket. The class was so fun. It was full of so many people that I love and it was just great. So if you were there and you're watching this, thank you. And, uh, yeah, just played all the songs that I love. The last song, I could have definitely gotten emotional, but I like caught myself and I was like, just don't. I told some people that I was gonna stretch to the song To Build a Home by the Cinematic or Orchestra, which is just such a beautiful song, if you know, you know. And I was like, if I play this during the stretch, I'm just gonna fucking sob, so. It's just a weird feeling, but it's literally just see you later because I gotta get my shit together, I gotta do it for me, and then, you know. All right, so my hand is freezing. I'm gonna eat this and drive home. <laughs> And listen to my- All right, I am at Michael's um, after a few wrong turns. Love it. Because I, it's been on my list to go in there and get some stuff for our Christmas decorations. So I really hope they have it. Looks like there's some decent amount of people in there, but can't waste too much time. So I'll show you guys what I get when I get home. All right, just got back from Michael's. You guys saw the little clip. I got so lucky. So I was going to find poinsettias and I wanted them to be big like this. And Good news, they were already half off, which is amazing. So I only wanted, apparently I was trying to buy them online and a lot of reviews were saying they were a lot smaller and I wanted like big ones. So I think like five, what do I get? One, two, three, yeah, I have five. So it's like, it was literally perfect. It was the only one left. It was half off and then I just got pipe cleaners because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like cut them off of here and then like wrap them. Pipe cleaners was the only thing I could think of because I couldn't really find little clips I just also didn't look that hard. So, yeah, I'll probably decorate the tree tomorrow morning. I am so exhausted. And I fear that this vlog definitely sucks. I know it sucks. I'm aware it sucks. 
Um, I literally was driving home and I was like, wow, I should have had somebody like videotape my like go home. You know what I mean? Like I should have had them like film the like la like our like last run of class. And that would have been fun to see. Poor planning on my end. All right, sweatshirt collection coming at ya. All right, so I own a lot of sweatshirts. I'm not doing any of my zip ups. Um, I'm doing all hoodies and crew neck sweatshirts, essentially, crop sweatshirts, whatever. You know where I will start is I'm gonna throw away the ones that I like threw back in here that I am planning on like putting on Poshmark or just getting rid of. I'll be doing a try on haul of all of them so you'll get to see me wearing them except for the ones that I'm getting rid of. I tie dyed this during, what's it called? Quarantine and I just did not dilute it enough to tie dye for me. So I'm getting rid of that one. Um, this one I couldn't decide if I wanted to let go of, but big champion sweatshirt, retro, I like it, but I just never grabbed for it enough, so I'm definitely going to sell that while it is a good sweatshirt. So I will be selling whoops, Soul Cycle sweatshirt as well. It's just the one, it's just white. It's, I wouldn't say it's crop, it's just definitely not a bigger sweatshirt. Um, it has like a lot of the markets that we are open in, some different studios, etc. It's interesting, it's like either the location or studios. Like, I think that that is actually on here. Yeah, it is, there it is. Like, the cities and stuff. Got one for pink. I actually have a ton of champion crop sweatshirts that I've actually given to my friends. Um, so this is pink crop. I really like it. I just am not a pink person. Um, and I had this in white. I also had it in black. And I gave them to my friends. So, I'll start here. Okay, so, number one. I love PE Nation so much. I got this PE Nation sweatshirt. I'm not sure if I bought this or if I got it when I did a little collab with them, but love the color block. I just love PE Nation, so while I don't wear this one a ton, I can't get rid of it yet. So, if I wanna wear color. Uh, my Sarah's Day White Fox sweatshirt. Love the detail of this. I like supporting, you know, influencers that I follow or people that, you know, have lines or something because I think they deserve it. The sweatshirt's sick, I like it. I wish it was a little cozier, but whatever. This is just an old, basketball quarter zip fleece so retro so 90s but i like it it's, it's actually like early 2000s but yeah anyway i don't know that kind of like stuck in here one of my favorite sweatshirts um, is my big white fox boutique like sand color sweatshirt this is like my color of the year i like it it's big um so it's a little bit more like oversized but it is a small medium so I like it. Every every time I wear this, I get a compliment on it. I think it's just because it's so basic. Um, and everyone's like, what does this mean? So this is my white fox hoodie. Love this one. It's super thick, super warm. Love that. To go along with warmth. I've had this for a few years and I always get compliments on it. It's like my mock turtleneck. Uh, Adidas Originals. It has pockets, which is nice. And it just keeps me warm. The only downfall is that my arms are a little long. So the sleeves are a little short on me, but Definitely love this sweatshirt, it's a staple. All right, moving on. This old Maryland Terps sweatshirt, love that. Um, it's my mom's, I think, my dad went to Maryland, but uh, yeah, just like such good stuff from like when we were growing up. And now like more vintage looking sweatshirts are back and I wore this to a Maryland tailgate last year. RIP to tailgates. Um, another Adidas Originals, this is actually a men's sweatshirt for sure. Also, side note, I'm gonna try to link every sweatshirt I can. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to link many of them um, unless they're more recent because if it's Soul Cycle, can't find that online. If it's old, obviously I can't, so. But I do like this sweatshirt a lot and it's just simple, basic, and now this is such a style that's back in. Hello, Emma Chamberlain. You throw like a little black or white turtleneck out of this, you are hip as fuck. All right, let's just do it. Let's tackle my Soul Cycle collection. I think this is all of them. I've definitely already sold some before in the past, but here we go. I love my Athlete Warrior Legend sweatshirt. Salt, skulls on the side. The only problem I have with this is that I wanted it so bad that I got it in a small because it was the only size they had left. And it was it's definitely small on me. Obviously, I like things oversized, so I actually cut the bottom off. But still love the sweatshirt. I just can't ever part with it, so don't know if I ever will, just because it's such an OG good sweatshirt. Um, this one I got because 
it was hard to find stuff with the call letters. They really stopped doing stuff with the call letters for a while. So this is my Bizda sweatshirt, just like a yellow skull, it's a hoodie. Pretty lightweight. Um, I've gone back and forth about getting rid of this one as well, just because I rarely ever reach for it. So she may be going to the sell pile. Along with this one, while I do love it, I love the color, it's like, it reminds me of, I don't know if you're from like the DMV, it reminds me of like Bethany's Surf Shop, it reminds me of very like summery, washed out, you know, the color, but just the Bethesda call letters, which is probably why I'll keep it, why I'll keep it. It is the old skull, which I hate. If you watch my other vlog, I've talked about that, so. It's actually a size small, so these were pretty oversized, but I just can't bring myself to get rid of that sweatshirt, so. This one, love this sweatshirt. Another Soul Psycho sweatshirt just says Soul right here. The tie-dye, when tie dye is so big last year. So love that. I like the green a little bit better than the blue one that we had, only because the blue had the ugly skull on it. So I got green instead. This OG will not get rid of this Soul Cycle plain sweatshirt. While it is a little too small, like why was I buying small sweatshirts last year? This is from when Clarendon opened, so I will never get rid of this. And I went back and forth about buying it for a while, and I was like, no, like this is from like the OG Clarendon collection when we opened that studio, and I love that studio so much. So my little baby, cannot wait till we're back over there. This sweatshirt means a lot to me. Um, this is my Soul Cycle Legend sweatshirt. It is so cozy, so comfortable. So here it just says Soul Cycle Legend. The back also says Legend. The sleeve says 2019 um, because this is the sweatshirt. I got a sweat set, I guess, when I went to Legend last fall, which if you don't know, it's just a, it's like a, a retreat for Soul Cycle that you have to apply for and it's like, I hate to be like, oh, it's a big deal to get accepted, but it was definitely really exciting for me. It was, the first, like, it was the first time I was eligible, and also I got it the first time I applied, which was also really fun. And I went with like such a solid crew. So, um, I don't know, it was just really special to me because Legend is something you should be proud of, you know, going to, so. I will always love this sweatshirt. It's also so cozy. This I had to buy because it is Mama Mel's sweatshirt. She created, she had her own like line with Soul Cycle. So the back has a tattoo that she has on, I think maybe her wrist or something, or somewhere on her. And then the other sleeve has Be Your Own Authority, which also she has tatto tattooed on her wrist. So I just couldn't knock it, Mel's sweatshirt, just because I love Mel. She was instrumental in my like journey and you know, she's on the mouth, so. Had to get that, we're halfway through Soul Cycle. Such a good OG crew neck, super soft, I love it. So it's like, it's stitched, embroidered, so this one's super cozy. Love this sweatshirt. I'm gonna throw it off the side, because it's dirty. This is old. Now, these sweatshirts, if you've ever seen these, with the call letters in the box, so there was these, and then there was ones with them on the sleeve, if you ever see them, one, never get rid of them. Two, buy it if you see it on like Poshmark or something. These are some of the best retail we've ever had, in my opinion. So, yeah, this is a medium sole wind, so DC West End. I got this actually after the fact, so I was like, getting that. But what I would pay to have this as a soul cycle Bethesda sweatshirt. Speaking up, here is an OG Bethesda sweatshirt, maybe, not black. And I like this sleeve, it says Soul Cycle Maryland, which is like near and dear to my heart. This sweatshirt was one of the first purchases I ever made as a rider, so I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. Um, so crazy. I remember wearing this in my very first audition. But I love this sweatshirt. I literally just wore it on Monday. It definitely, it's one of those sweatshirts that like you can tell has a lot of wear, so. Love that. Um, this collab with Champion was so good. If you guys can see, it's like a felt, big C logo on the chest, and then the sleeve is the felt black on black Soul Cycle hoodie. Really like this sweatshirt. Super sleek, super cool, all black, me, you know. And then lastly, this sweatshirt, um, I have a sweat set of this, so when this came out, I was like, oh, this is sick. Everyone was buying these. The Soul Cycle label just says established 2006. NYC, it's like a washed black, which I really like. This is a go-to hoodie. It's heavy, but not too heavy, and it just looks good. It's a cool sweatshirt, I like it. On to my fun sweatshirts. These are my favorite sweatshirts. A long time I've been editing this video, and I'm like, I'm like, am I going to address the fact that what, what, the back of my head, I don't know what my hair was doing, 
I'm looking like I'm balding in places. It's just like, I'm finally addressing it. I know it looks whack as fuck. I, it, it is what it is. As you guys know, I've talked about these earlier. I wore them definitely in Vlogmas already. My pretty little thing, crop sweatshirts. So, I have it in tan. I have it in ash gray. So if you guys can see how like thick these sleeves are and like the material, and then I ordered it in black and red. You guys can see just by like the way I'm holding these how much thicker these are than these. It's upsetting. Like this is more like a t like shirt. I don't know. So I have it in black. Still great, but it's just like not, like I don't even hold these up. Like I wish you guys could feel the difference of these. It just, one just looks like a shirt. I mean, look at this, look how different the sleeves are. This is the same size. So I'm not sure how that happened. And I really wanted a red sweatshirt, so I was like, perfect. And then it was this thin little thing, but still like it. Just not what I thought it would be, but that's fine. So love the crop sweatshirts. These are only the few I have. I got rid of a lot of crop sweatshirts before. They're very hard to fold though. If you guys have tricks on how to fold a crop sweatshirt, let me know. Okay, this sweatshirt I got, definitely I was in a try on haul, like whenever I did that vlog recently from Zara. It's like a turtleneck sweatshirt. So honestly, haven't worn this yet, but still like the color, it's still very soft. Sometimes I just don't feel like being choked by a turtleneck, so. Oh, another crop sweatshirt. This is from a set that I got from Misguided, so it's very similar to the other one. It's a little more yellowy to them, kind of like my it's also like a legend sweatshirt compared to the sand. The little thing one, it's much, much thinner though. It's kind of like a shirt and it came with like little shorts. The shorts do not fit me well at all though, so. But I kept the shirt, because you can just never have enough like long sleeve crops. Oh, one of my favorite sweatshirts. So basic, so easy. It's literally Hanes from Amazon. I got it in a large, large black hoodie. Invest, like literally, these are like $12. Um, some of my favorites. My zip ups are also Hanes from Amazon. They're just good staples that are cheap and easy. You don't need to go crazy. I got this for Christmas last year from my mom. It's, um, I don't know where she got it. I'm sure you can find these places, but my friend's sweatshirt. I love it. Um, obviously, white sweatshirts are a little dangerous. I think mine has kind of a stain on it, as a lot of my things do, but love this sweatshirt. It makes me happy when I wear it. Nothing makes me happier than when I wear this sweatshirt. You guys have seen me in it. You know the drill. He's got Body Shop, my One Tree Hill sweatshirt. It is legit. It is the same manufacturer that makes the ones that they wore in the show. Um, nothing on the front, just plain gray, like Lucas's. And um, yeah, I got it in a large. I'm so happy I went back and traded it because I think I got a medium or a small and I was like, no, I want this to be oversized and it was truly one of the best decisions I ever made. Um, Cause I just wear it so much, it means so much to me because tree, one tree hill is just everything. Oh, speaking of tree hill, here we go. We're going back. Another one of my favorite sweatshirts that everybody asked me about when I wear it. Also got it, um, I got this at the Black Cat shop which is what cd alley was in the show you guys don't watch one here like no idea what i'm talking about and i got this at crazy mike's which is on the corner down there so obviously this isn't a sweatshirt that they wore on the show but i just thought it was like retro cool anything basketball i'm like i'm here for this i love like ash gray or heather gray it's so pretty um another hanes sweatshirt plain all white large we all need it in our lives Mine is filthy because my sister's dog jumped on me with mud on her paws and it didn't come out. Or I just don't know how to do laundry. But I love that sweatshirt, I wear it a lot. And last but certainly not least, you guys have seen me wear this probably more than any other sweatshirt, maybe Keith Scott is the equivalent. It's my Post Malone concert sweatshirt. I love everything about it, obviously front, back, the cities are on the, of the tour are on the sleeve. This is a size, I think large, where at the time it was the only size that they had left, but I was like, I'm gonna buy it, screw it, and I'm so glad because oversized is in, and it's so cozy, I love this sweatshirt so much, I will have it forever, trust me on that one. Oh, and with that is my sweatshirt haul. All right, and with that, I just realized that my camera must have cut off when I was like trying to take pictures with my sweatshirts for the thumbnail and doing my outro, like, thanks for coming with me on Vlogmas Day 4 and seeing all my sweatshirts. I didn't even count how many sweatshirts I had. Um, I think it's probably in the 30s. I'm really unsure, but it's insane. So, yes, anyways, 
I'll see you guys for Vlogmas Day 5. Can't wait for it. And thank you guys so much. If you haven't already, subscribe below. Go follow me on Instagram, TikTok, all the things. And I will see you guys tomorrow.